Hi your loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we're here again for another theatre review and this time it is a brand new show so I'm particularly excited about this one. So In Dreams is a brand new musical that uses the iconic music of Roy Orbison to tell a contemporary story about love and it's written by David West Reed who actually wrote Anne Juliet and Schitt's Creek. I mean who doesn't love either of those but especially Schitt's Creek because it's hilarious and the show was directed by Luke Shepard who also worked on Anne Julia as the director and he directed In the Heights in the West End both of which are incredible musicals and I think he did a fantastic job of directing them both. Now I actually saw this show on July the 13th at Leeds Playhouse and this is where the show's journey has started so it was really nice to actually see it in its sort of home venue where it was sort of created. Um, I actually thought that the music went really really well in a musical. I thought the story was exciting, like I genuinely felt very engaged in the show as a whole. Uh, the cast were fantastic, I will delve into my thoughts on, on everybody a little bit later on but first and foremost Let's have a read of the synopsis. Set in New Mexico, the story revolves around the former lead singer of a country rock band who, at a critical moment in her life, invites her old bandmates to join her for the party of a lifetime, while keeping her true motivations a secret. In Dreams will take you on a joyous, uplifting, but also moving journey. A lyrical and comedic exploration of the universal longing for love and connection when facing challenging times. Now, as soon as I saw the sort of setup of the stage, you know, the props, the lighting, the sort of AV, everything, I thought, okay, they they really knew the image they wanted to create for this show and it already felt very fun and engaging so I thought cool I, I, I like this I, I'm excited to see how the set is involved in the show. One of the themes that the show explores was how in Mexican culture they have Day of the Dead and how they celebrate those that have passed. It was actually much more prominent within the story than I thought it would be um, but I actually really enjoyed that aspect of it I think it's something that hasn't really been explored in a musical before and you know there were a few little jokes here and there made about oh well you know my husband's seen Coco so they think they know everything about um, you know Mexican culture and things like that and they were they were really sort of ironically funny do you know what I mean they weren't uh, disrespectful it was all tastefully done but yeah I thought that the colours in the set especially and the lighting really complemented that theme and you could tell that they'd they'd sort of found this idea and gone yeah we're gonna run with it and we think we know how to sort of put that across onto stage and I thought they did it really well I may have already said this I can't remember if I have or not but I was really like pleasantly surprised about how well Roy Orbison's music went into a musical like I I knew a bit of his music but not enough to know whether it would work or not but it's um very very emotional actually I didn't realize until seeing it in this musical how emotional some of his songs actually are and how heartfelt they, they come across so that was a really nice kind of discovery for me and I'm definitely interested in listening to more of his music so that's really cool. Now this is probably going to take up majority of this video but I would like to discuss the casting because this cast felt like the cream of the crop, some of the best performers that we have got in the UK. One of those performers was actually uh, American, she's called Lena Hall, played Kenna. Um, a real standout moment for her, I feel, was the end of Act 1 where she sang Crying. Really big vocal moment for her character and I think she delivered it uh, to begin with very softly, it was nuanced, it was enticing for the audience and then by the end she was there, she was present, she was belting it out and it, I think it really showed her kind of vocal ability and strength overall just in that one song. I did at times feel that she pushed her voice a little bit too hard 
there was a lot of vocal growling going on which can be really cool especially in kind of more rocky songs but there were certain moments where her voice cracked and for me as a vocalist that was slightly worrying because I did wonder you know is she doing enough to like take care of her voice to warm it up that kind of thing however overall her voice really suited the character she's such a cool person like Kenna is she just dresses and looks exactly how you expect kind of a rock star to look and um I thought she played it really well she was like really sort of cool calm collected she's very sort of holding her cards close to her chest yeah I guess she just kind of had this edginess about her which I think worked for the part I think her and Oliver Tempsit's chemistry obviously Oliver Tempsit playing Ramsey incredibly well they, their chemistry was fantastic I thought they had a really good banter on stage there was a really nice camaraderie there Um, Oliver Tempsit sang I Drove All Night which for me was a real standout moment for his character I thought it just it was almost like this is my character this is who he is enjoy and he just owned the stage completely I thought he was hysterically funny um, and his characterization of Ramsey was just spot on I think it was a really nice balance to Kenna's kind of sometimes closed off character so yeah that was really fantastic you had uh, Sean Reese Williams as Jane and Noel Sullivan as Donovan. Great chemistry bet between these two. It felt fun, engaging, and what was great about their pairing um, was that they had a really kind of nice story that evolved alongside the main storyline. I thought they just had a really kind of playful energy with each other which it felt completely genuine and it was a really nice contrast between the main couple which was um Ramsey and Kenna. I particularly enjoyed Shan's performance I just found I don't know it was something it was very truthful the way she conveyed uh sort of her character's emotions and thoughts and I thought that I was watching a real person basically and that's I mean acting at its finest she smashed it it was truth at its heart and yeah she was just really great I've never seen her before but I'd like to see her in more stuff oh my goodness I cannot go any further without mentioning Alma Cuervo I think that's how you say it I hope that's how you say it she played Anna Sophia and she was mwah, chef's kiss incredible arguably one of my favourite performances throughout the whole show. She was the maturer, older woman, talks a lot in the show about Mexican kind of uh, culture and how they sort of celebrate those who have passed on to the next part of, of the afterlife, if you will. She was funny, her character felt incredibly humble, very compassionate towards everybody. She sort of welcomed everybody in as if they were family into the diner where the show is set. And I just thought it was perfect casting. As Anna Sophia's love interest, you had Richard Trinder who played George. Brilliantly youthful, uh, charming. His energy and performance was brilliant. I thought his voice was fantastic. For an older character, his voice was really controlled. Um, and he played a really convincing love interest to Anna Sophia, which I loved. My one qualm with that character was his backstory. I didn't feel that it was as fully developed as it could have been. It was often repeated in the show that, you know, my wife died three months ago and, and she told me to just, you know, when she passes to live life to the fullest and go out there and, and you know, be free and blah, blah, blah and all this kind of stuff. But that was kind of it. It felt very surface level. And as a result, what happened was I, well, I certainly began to think, oh, maybe there's something negative that he's holding back. Maybe he's a con man. Like my mind started going on all these kind of tangents thinking, well, maybe these are possibilities. But I think because it wasn't kind of showcased what his backstory was in, in, in sort of full form, your mind did kind of start to wonder as to what it could be and how genuine this character was and I really wanted to believe that he, he was like you know falling for Anna Sophia in, in a really kind of genuine way heartfelt way so yeah I think that's probably something that I would have liked to see further developed but 
that being said, I do think he played the part really well, like as well as he could have done. The overall kind of chemistry be between George and Anna Sophia kind of outshone any of those kind of thoughts and doubts that I was having about the backstory. And um, yeah, I was just really impressed with his vocal performance. Then of course we had the brilliant Leon Craig who played Tom a lifelong fanatical fan of Kenner's band Heartbreak Radio and I must admit I absolutely loved his performance. He was abundantly positive and joyous and as soon as he came onto the stage you couldn't help but be engaged with his character. It was just brilliant to watch him. He really, really actively listened to his fellow actors on the stage and you couldn't help but love his character even more for that, I think. That's what acting is all about, after all. You know, you listen to what you're given as an actor, you respect the people on the stage with you, and you have fun, and you tell the story truthfully and convincingly, and that's exactly what he did. Just a complete ray of sunshine on stage, and he had great vocals, great energy. Fantastic. Now, I have to mention um, Manuel Pacific, uh, and I would actually like to give him a special mention in this review because he played the character of Oscar, which was the character um, who had, I would say, probably the most interesting journey throughout the show. He's dealing with the loss of his parents whilst expecting a baby with his partner, Nicole, which was played beautifully by uh, Gabriela Garcia. He's struggling to communicate with her and he's also running this diner uh, in New Mexico and helps Kenna have this party of a lifetime. But when the time comes, he is actually the first person to say to Kenna, look, you need to be honest um, with your friends and tell them the truth about your health uh, because we find out that she has a terminal illness which is cancer and i suppose the 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 ironic thing is is that he holds so much back and he isn't truthful about what's going on for him and what he's experiencing this character felt very much like the observer um for most of the show and i felt from very early on that there was going to be a sort of big moment of truth for oscar and Lo and behold, there was in the second act, in that moment where we see him in the desert walking, talking to his parents, he sings in dreams, sat on the edge of the stage by himself. This was by far one of the standout moments of the show for me. Uh, I, I genuinely don't think that there was a dry eye in the house. His vocal ability and uh, control complimented this song effortlessly i mean his range was exquisite i just couldn't get over it at all as this song did actually follow the reveal of why he walks alone in the desert there was this incredible weight to his performance and the impact for me was was lasting uh, i i've thought about it ever since and it was just completely beautiful Overall, casting was absolutely fantastic. Um, these performers felt like, you know, as I mentioned before, the best of the best. I think their ability to storytell with honesty and love and humour um, was exactly right for this story. And when the story uh, covered the feelings of, of, you know, more emotional feelings of loss and uh, of belonging and togetherness, they, they came together in ways that I don't believe I've seen in many other casts. So yeah, I take my hat off to every single person in the In Dreams cast for delivering a brilliant performance. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this performance did actually premiere here in the UK at the Leeds Playhouse. And I just wanted to say that I thought it was a gorgeous venue for it. I'd never actually been to the Leeds Playhouse before and I absolutely loved it. Um, but it's actually going to be heading over to Toronto and it's going to be there from September through to November this year at the Mervish Theatre and that's incredibly exciting isn't it? I am really intrigued to see how well it goes down there um, because there was sort of talk of this show maybe doing 
better over in the states and canada um as opposed to here in the uk i think there are potentially more roy orbison fans over there however i think it went down an absolute tree in the uk so i'll be interested to see what the future holds for this show i do honestly think that it's got quite a lot of scope to go quite far and um as I mentioned before, the impact of the show was so great. It does, after all, touch on themes of uh, Mex Mexican beliefs around death, the Day of the Dead, uh, celebrating the lives of loved ones, as well as um, dealing with terminal illness and how love can ultimately see you through the hardest of times. I think those are themes that, especially people who maybe are experiencing um living with a terminal illness i think seeing a show like this will really hit home for them i think it will allow them to maybe i don't know potentially cope uh, better with what they're dealing with and reach out to the people that they love yeah i think i think it really will do that i think it, the the impact will continue to be positive positive. and i'm still not over roy orbison's music i mean i didn't honestly i'm baffled i absolutely loved it I need to go on Spotify, I think, and just have a listen to, like, all of his stuff. But that is literally it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening. I hope you enjoyed. If you have seen In Dreams, then comment down below what you thought. I'd love to have a chat with you about it, as always. But leave a like on this video if you did enjoy, and subscribe for more theatre review content. And I will see you very soon, guys. Bye!